Hello everyone, a warm welcome back to the Math Zone and an uh, extra warm welcome to the return of Miss Russell. Bonsoir. Um, today we're going to be looking at a game called 1 to 20 Strike Them Out and for this you're going to need uh, a number line or you could use a piece of paper and just draw a line and write the numbers on and a pen and I'm going to hand over to Mr Russell to explain how to play the game. Thank you very much Miss Davis. Okay, so as Miss Davis says, uh, with your number line, the object of the game is to strike as many of the numbers out as you can. To do this, uh, you will do a series of addition and subtraction sums, and each sum that you do, uh, you will strike out the numbers that you use in the sum. Okay, so no number can be used more than once. Miss Davis, would you like to add or would you like to subtract in this game? I'd quite like to add, please. If that's would you? Right. Okay, in which case I will subtract. Now, when you're playing this game, uh, just a, a tip here is before you start, strike out, first of all, the zero, as this can cause problems when playing the game if you use the zero. Okay, so are we ready to start, Miss Davis? Yeah, we're ready okay, let's, let's go. So I'm going to start with subtraction, and I'm going to say that 20 take away 12 equals 8. Notice how I don't strike out the 8, because, Mr Davis, that's going to be the number that you're going to have to start your addition sum with. OK, lovely. So um, I'm going to start with 8, and I think I'm going to add... 11 to it to get 19. Lovely work. Just at this point, Mr. Davis, we could, if we wanted to, record these sums down on a board or a piece of paper, but you don't have to, but it is an option. Okay. Also worth noticing, we, we are playing this game collaboratively, but you could, if you wanted to, play this as a, as a competitive game where you're trying to see who can strike out the most numbers. Okay. I think that I'm going to say 19 take away 15 equals 4. Okay, I'm going to go for 4. I'm going to add 14 to it to make 18. Okay. Hmm. I fancy that... 18 take away 16 will equal 2. Okay, that puts a little end to the run of numbers there. So I can only add 2 to a number. So the 17's gone, and the 13's gone, mm. and the 10's gone. But perhaps I'll go and still... No, I'll probably have to go 2. Mm -hmm. And add the 7. Let's see. To get the 9. 9. Okay, so we've only got a few numbers left. And at this point, Mr. Davis, we're really trying to work and see if we can strike out as many as we can, but obviously with less numbers it becomes a little bit more difficult. Hmm, well I can't use the 17, I can't use the 13 and I can't use the 10. Now, I could say 9 take away 6 equals 3, or I could say that 9 take away 3 equals 6. I think those are my options, aren't they, Mr. Davis? If you did the 9 take away the 6 equals 3, yes. then I could add the 3 to the 10 to get the 13, but that would give me one. Should we go with that? We're, we're limited choices. We are here, limited, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's go with that and uh, see where it takes us. So 9 take away 6 equals 3. Okay, so I'll go for the 3 and add the 10 to get 13. Lovely, lovely. Now, I think 
and not much mistake in the stakes, we may have reached end game. We have, and uh, what I think about this is we've so we've got one, two, three, four numbers left, and I think that we, if we were to play again, we'd think about whether we could get that down to less than four numbers, and, and perhaps think about maybe where we started and, and where we where we've gone wrong. But mm. um, I think that was a good effort. <laughs> I think for a first turn, that was a very good effort, Mr. Davis. We we did manage to successfully strike out. Well, uh, 17 numbers there, including the zero, so I think that's pretty good. 17 struck out, yeah. four, four left over. I think that's not a bad start. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Mr. Russell, for joining us in the maths. No problem, Mr. Davis. Goodbye. Bye.